Mechanical Insufflation Exufflation The ability to cough is essential to life. The Mechanical Insufflation Exufflation device, known as the MIE, simulates a cough and allows for non-invasive airway clearance. The MIE is recommended for individuals with neuromuscular diseases, spinal cord injury or muscular skeletal conditions who are unable to achieve an effective cough with lung balm recruitment and or manually assisted cough. This therapy is especially helpful when applied routinely to remove lung secretions reducing the risk of infection. The MIE applies positive pressure by mask, mouthpiece, or artificial airway connector, inflating both lungs evenly. Positive pressure is followed by a rapid shift to a negative pressure to generate consistent peak cough flow of 300 to 600 liters per minute. The usual treatment pressures are plus 40 and minus 40 centimeters of water pressure. Studies have shown that the minimal effective therapeutic pressures are plus 30 and minus 30 centimeters of water pressure. Hi Chester, Hi, I'm Aaron, I'm your respiratory therapist. Pleased to meet you. I'm here to assist with your cough to clear your secretions. Oh, great. When a tracheostomy is in place, it is best to perform MIE with an inflated cuff to minimize leak and enable the chest to reach therapeutic pressures. Breath in, in, in. Cough out, out, breath in, 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 and cough out, out. All right, Chester, I'm going to deflate your cuff and put your cork back on your trach and we want to hear your voice now, okay? So your cuff's deflated, and I'm going to put the corking valve on. Can I get you to say hi? Hi. Perfect. I'm still here. You're still here. Hi. Excellent. In the absence of contraindications, mechanical insufflation, exufflation, cough capacity may be further improved when manually assisted cough is timed with an exufflation phase. Glenn has Becker's muscular dystrophy. Prior to this hospital admission, for a condition other than respiratory infection, he worked full-time in accounting despite being 24-hour, non-invasively ventilator-dependent. During his hospital stay, he naturally developed general weakness. However, invasive ventilation was avoided in part because of daily access to mechanical insufflation exufflation to clear the mucus from his lungs. Glenn was eventually discharged home with a personal mechanical insufflation exufflation device to ensure optimal daily lung secretion clearance, reducing the risk of infection. Visit our website at www.canventottawa.ca for additional comprehensive information.